name is Michael Mastro. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at the chart for singer, songwriter, producer Selena Gomez. Uh, if you look to the eastern horizon when she was born using Sidereo Vedic Zodiac, you would see the constellation of Cancer rising at 14 degrees. Any planets that are within 5 degrees like Jupiter and Venus of that uh, 14 degree rising sign uh, have a lot of impact in the chart. So first we're going to look and see how the planets are operating and then we'll look at when they're operating and what could we could do to strengthen the chart. We can easily tell what the karma of anyone is by looking to see where the Multricona signs 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 11 fall in the chart. So for Selena, the first sign of Aries is in the 10th house. She's working on perfecting her career as a singer, songwriter, producer, and dealing with all the uh, feeling of being worthy of being successful. Uh, learning about that. Then we have the fourth sign of Cancer ruled by Moon in the first house. Feeling worthy of, of connecting with why she came here, her life purpose, and self-esteem issues. Then the fifth sign of Leo ruled by Sun in the second house. Again, connecting with uh, feeling worthy of being wealthy and famous and having uh, stable relationships. Then we have the sixth sign of Virgo in the third house, feeling worthy of, of being successful and performing. Uh, then we have the seventh sign of v uh, Libra ruled by Venus in the house of happiness and, and family. So feeling worthy of being happy and having a, a stable family. Then we have the ninth sign of Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter in the house of inner and outer conflict. Feeling worthy of being healthy and stable. And then we have the eleventh sign of Aquarius in the eighth house ruled by Saturn. So. Uh, feeling worthy of not having a lot of drama in our life. And then we have the first, we already did that, um, the first sign. So let's see how these planets are operating individually in our life. We have Sun at six degrees, ruling this second house of wealth and fame through uh, using her voice. The second house has to do with the voice and singing. And um, it's, it's in the house of life purpose, so she struggles with self-esteem issues. And then we have the uh, weak moon. Moon is uh, ruling the chart, and it is uh, in infant state, less than five degrees. Uh, any planet that's less than five degrees is an infant state and it's weak and it can't um, support or promote its own significations. So uh, ruling that first house of life purpose and having it connect, uh, be in the career house, that connects her life purpose with her career. Um, it could be stronger and in her case, Moon is connected to her emotions and her mind and her mental state. So she does have depression, um, anxiety, bipolar issues. Then we have, um, oh, I forgot to mention that a weak sun also uh, uh, have, can create hair loss issues, which she did have. Then we have um, weak infant state Mars, uh, less than five degrees as well, ruling the career house in the house of income, social connections, um, organizations, and fulfillment of desires. So this connects her career 
with the significations of Mars. So being Mars's passion and, and ambition, so uh, ambition to fulfill the desires of her career um, and being passionate about it and translating that passion into directing, singing, and, and acting. Uh, now, Mars is, has also, because it's weak, uh, can create some inflammation and uh, it's in the house of knees and joints so that she does have, uh, because of lupus, uh, inflammation in the knees and the joints as well as fatigue. Um, then we have uh, weak m Mercury. Mercury is weak because its landlord uh, or, or the ruler of the house that it's in, Moon, is weak. And Sun, Venus, and Mercury can't be any stronger than the landlord or the dispositor of the house that they sit in. So Mercury is ruling this house of success through performing arts and communication. So uh, that connects her ability to communicate and, and sing and act uh, with her success. And also there are, she does, because Mercury is weak, it, it is connected to issues with the skin, also related to um, lupus, which is autoimmune. Autoimmune comes from weak sun, weak moon. K2 is also in the 12th house, which can affect the immunity as well. And moon is also connected to lymph issues. Um, then we have functional malefic uh, Jupiter. Jupiter is weak because its landlord, its sun, is weak because moon is weak. Now, uh, any uh, multiconus sign in the 6th, the 8th, or the 12th automatically becomes functional malefic, meaning it can cause harm if through conjunction or aspect in the birth or transit chart if it's within five degrees of another planet or the, the rising sign degree. Now, it's just barely, slightly out of that five degree orb, but it, it is causing some stress. Uh, so, uh, it rules the house of health, inner and outer conflict, um, delays and setbacks, fire, theft, and cheating. So she does have this health issue uh, with the lupus um, that affected her kidneys, you know, uh, put, put stress on her organs, uh, fatigue, uh, inflammation of the joints, etc. Uh, many, many symptoms and hair loss also all connected to that. Now, um, and bipolar is a form of inner conflict, mental conflict, lack of peace, uh, mental instability. Then we have uh, weak Venus. Venus is also, landlord is moon. Can't be any stronger than the landlord, which is weak. So Venus uh, in the first house gives beauty uh, fashion, she has fashion line involved in fashion and it's performing arts. So Venus is ruling the house of happiness and family through family. And so her happiness is weak. So this comes some depression, uh, anxiety through being a child actor and feeling pressure. Um, but, but her happiness that she does have comes through her acting and singing. Uh, and Venus is significator for kidneys. She did have a kidney transplant. The lupus made the kidneys very weak and she had to have a kidney transplant from her best friend. Uh, then we have Saturn. Uh, Saturn is malefic and it, um, Uh, it is um, afflicting Mercury. And so Mercury, again, having some 
intellect disorder with the bipolar skin issues, etc., um, causing um, challenges. Then we have, so that's all connected to the um, anxiety, trauma, pressure from being a childhood star. Then we have uh, functional with Rahu and K2. They are at six degrees and they are always opposite each other, balancing the spiritual growth, K2 spiritual growth and being in the 12th house spiritual growth through letting go of attachments, balancing that with Rahu in the sixth house. So gives desire to help others through, she was an ambassador for um, UNICEF at an early age and uh, balancing the material and the spiritual. So uh, K2 here can cause addiction, sleep issues, self-esteem issues, not feeling like you don't fit in. So let's look at the timing of events. So in 2008, she became an ambassador for UNICEF during a uh, Rahu. Rahu's sitting in the house of service, desire for service. Then um, in 2011 through 14, she had a lot of success with different um, singing and acting roles that she was having. And she was also having a pretty serious relationship with Justin Bieber. This is all during a Venus Mercury period. So relationship, uh, Venus ruling the house of relationship and um, Mercury ruling success. And then in 2014, after she broke up uh, or maybe during when she broke up with uh, Justin Bieber, she had to go into rehab for drugs and alcohol. That was during a Saturn period, Saturn, life-changing events. Um, and then we have, uh, was diagnosed with lupus in 2015. Uh, that's during um, a Venus period again. Um, and um, lupus, um, let's see, mercury, mercury's nervous system also has to do with autoimmune issues. Uh, then the lupus caused the kidney damage. She had to get a kidney transplant on June 19th, 2017. This is a circular chart showing the transits in the outer circle where the transit plan, uh, planets were on the date of the kidney transplant and due, um, the inner circles where the planets were when she was born. You can see moon is right on top of uh, moon. And then you see that um, Saturn is afflicting K2 in the house of life-changing events. So this, this transplant really extended her longevity eighth house is longevity and k2 is uh, ruling the house or sitting in the house of surgery and then um, again saturn life-changing events afflicting k2 and then you see sun mercury mars all going through that uh, 12th house of um, surgery then we have um it's during a Venus K2 period. So Venus is kidney, K2, again, surgery. Then in 2020, she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder during a Jupiter, um, Jupiter period. Jupiter causing health issues again, mental, inner con mental conflict, lack of peace. Then in... Um, then uh, more recently, she uh, was award, uh, nominated for an Emmy for only murders in the building for producing uh, the hit comedy with Steve Martin and Martin Short. Um, so that is during a 
Jupiter and Saturn period. Actually, Saturn, Mercury period. Mercury, again, success. Now, pretty soon, she's be going to be going into a K2 period in 2023. This should be a very good for her spiritual growth. Hopefully, she doesn't uh, have any more addiction issues. Um, seems like she's getting her health under control. Hope the very, very best for her. What could be done to strengthen the chart? Well, we want to transform Rahu, K2, uh, as well as Jupiter and Saturn by helping those who cannot help themselves, which she's already doing with the different charities she's involved in, like UNICEF. Uh, and then she could uh, strengthen the benefic planets, Sun, Venus, Mercury, Mars, Moon, uh, by wearing gemstones or my favorite remedy, a kavash, which is a silver locket you can see on our website, vastucreations.com, that contains the Devata Yantras to strengthen these planets. It's very economical um, and very balanced in its way to be a remedy to strengthen uh, the weak planets in your chart and give you greater success. Thank you so much for listening. Um, ring the bell, uh, subscribe. Um, we'll see you next week with uh, another um, celebrity uh, reading.